Doing your own marketing is a lot like doing your own taxes. It can be confusing, it can be time consuming, and it's impossible to keep up with all the latest developments and changes. Plus, if you get it wrong, there are major ramifications. But there's never been a business owner's playbook on how to move from doing your own marketing to building an outsourced marketing system with a team that you can trust until now. Hi, I'm Jen, author of Outsource Your Marketing, which is a succinct and practical guide which goes beyond keeping up with the trends in marketing and gets down to the root of the problem, which is being able to delegate effectively. If you wanna order the book, I'll put a link in the description box below. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my proprietary six-step system that I outline in the book that is the key to helping you reach more prospects, scale faster, and work less. First, you need the right mindset. You need to see yourself not just as a provider of the services that you offer, but as a marketer of the services that you offer. My client, Lana, takes this so seriously in the roofing business that we turned her into a superhero, Roof Lady. Roof Lady is the star in all of her YouTube videos where she's leaping over tall buildings and fighting suspicious door knockers in her valuable educational and entertaining content. When you show up authentically, share your value and create content in your marketing that is really helpful and entertaining for your customers, they can't help but love you. Second, a $0 marketing strategy will outperform a $1,000 marketing tactic any day of the week. What I mean by that is that one big marketing idea is more valuable in your business than say throwing a thousand bucks at Google ads. Building a successful outsourced marketing strategy hinges on having a big idea. For example, in 2020, I was making a living getting paid to speak on stages and everybody knows what happens. We all went into lockdown and live events got canceled. Now, at the beginning of the lockdowns, I was doing what most of my professional speaking peers were doing, where we were all trying to figure out how to get paid to speak on Zoom and doing virtual presentations. But the market was quickly flooded and oversaturated, plus everybody had major Zoom fatigue, including myself. So I decided to go in a different direction with a bigger idea. And that's when I decided to start taking YouTube seriously. I committed to making one YouTube video a week that was valuable, entertaining, educational, and helpful for my audience. Less than a year later, I had built a six-figure business just from creating YouTube videos in the basement in my house. That one big idea changed everything in the trajectory of my career. Do what your competition won't. Provide real solutions to real problems and provide so much value that your prospects and clients would be nuts to say no to you. Third, the NASA nerd in me knows that systems set you free. Once you have your solid big idea, your solid marketing strategy, figured out, now it's time to follow a system. Marie Forleo, one of everybody's favorite coaches, says everything is figure outable. Well, I say everything's already been figured out. There are already people who are doing what you want to do. They've already put in the blood, sweat, and tears and figured out a system that you can replicate to get similar results. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here. Just find somebody that you trust and follow the leader. For example, when my strategy shifted and I decided to start making YouTube videos, I joined my YouTube coach, Sean Cannell, from Think Media's YouTube coaching program. And I just decided to learn everything that Sean knew about making YouTube successful. And I, most importantly, took action and implemented with the goal of getting 1% better with every video. I also dialed in clear offers on the back end of my business that matched the marketing solution that I was promoting. Having clear offers has been key to my success because if I have clear solutions to clear problems, I can create systems out of it, train my team, delegate it effectively, and have a more productive and profitable business. Which brings us to step number four, team members build your business. The famous American motivational speaker and business coach Zig Ziglar says, you don't build a business. You build your team and your team build your business. This is a game changer. The people on your team are going to include your coaches, consultants, virtual assistants, freelancers, project managers, and even your agency partners that you work with. The key to building your team members is to be very clear on the roles and responsibilities for each person on the team. 
The other key is that as the business owner or as the marketer of the business, you don't need to have all of the answers to every tactic and trick or tip that you're going to be using and implementing in your business. That's what you're relying on your team members to do. Your responsibility is making sure that your team members have the resources, the assets, and the general direction and the goal of what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And then you trust them to do their job and get out of their way. Which brings us to tactics, tools, and time. In my spare time as a hobby, I like to paint mountain oil paintings. And as an artist, having the right technique is important and having the right tools are important. The way that I hold the brush or apply the paint to the canvas in a certain technique will determine the outcome of what the painting looks like. Just like having the right tools matter. Having the right palette brush or having the right fan brush or the right two inch brush to create a certain effect that I'm going for will also dictate the outcome of the painting along with talent, time, and practice. To delegate effectively and communicate with your team, the tool that you're going to need is a project management system. I personally use Trello or ClickUp, but you could check out Asana or Basecamp. They all do generally about the same things. Inside of my book, you can see a screenshot of how I set up our workspace, our boards, and even how I communicate with my team on an individual project card. That is super valuable for you to see. When it comes to choosing the right techniques or tactics to implement into your system, you really need to rely on your team members here. I mean, that's why you hired them, right? You don't need to know every little detail about every technique or tactic. That's why you're going to lean on your team members. But you do need to know enough to help you avoid shiny object syndrome and jumping from one tactic to another before it's truly had time to take effect and work. The sixth step here is to focus on measuring the results that matter for your goals. Now, the enemy here is going to be vanity metrics. Vanity metrics are those things, those little key performance indicators in your marketing that make you feel like your marketing is working when it's actually not contributing to the final result. An example could be a social media post. If you're so caught up in how many likes a social media posts get, but you're not really focused on how many inquiries it's generated for you, how many people it's put on your email subscriber list, or how many new leads it's actually generated, then you're kind of missing the boat and measuring the wrong thing. I would rather have 10 prospects on my email list or 10 people to talk to on my calendar than 10,000 likes on a social media post. To be effective here, you're going to need to have a clear understanding of how your customers buy. You're going to need a very clear buyer's journey mapped out, and you're going to need to have campaigns that are created to help you with your specific marketing goals. For example, if you're, one of your goals is generating leads, then you need to have a leads campaign. If one of your goals is to generate conversions off of existing leads or an existing database that you already have, then you're going to need to have a conversion campaign. You're going to need to have the marketing all mapped out and matched to the way that your people buy. From here, make sure that you watch all the videos that are in this outsourced marketing playlist because there's a lot more for you to know. Let's dive deep into each one of the steps. See you on the next video.